or we we talked about different techniques that poet used uh, the poet used um, metaphors similes different figures of speech to put across his uh, message now let's move to the second stanza of the poem and the poem is all about his appeal out to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in this poem he is actually submitting himself uh, surrendering himself to Allah, uh, God, and in which he is just not asking for the worldly reeds, he is not asking for big lands, uh, large fields, he is not asking for uh, luxurious life, he is just asking for the life that would give him um, Allah's, uh, what we say, um, Allah's blessing upon him. So he is through and through yearning for that peaceful life, the life that God, that Majur wishes him to be given by God, uh, where uh, he is, where God is pleased with him. So let's move to the second stanza and we'll see the meaning and the different figures of speech that have been frequently used in this poem. Let me not ever chant the sleep-inducing tales. Let me sing the songs which infuse life into the dead. Let me sing of, the, of that inspires people with love and causes all bitternesses and hatred to vanish. You brought me to bloom with the earliest vernal breeze. Let not the burning heat of summer with, wither me grey. Like dew, how long shall I? wait for the first flash of the sun awaken me with the flowers in the first stroke of the dawn in form of i am a man in substance far from humanity subject me not to trials shame not my human form forsaken by men i and so they call me majur people may desert me thus but you don't abandon me lord very interesting point it is so in 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 this in these lines that don't don't in these lines let me not ever chant the sleep inducing tales the poet is just pleading to allah the poet is appealing to allah he has he is supplicating to allah he says let me not ever chant the sleep inducing tales uh, let me not go away from the real knowledge from the real uh, way of propagating uh, god's truth let let me not ever chant the sleep inducing tales let, let me never tell the wrong stories let me never be the part of uh, satanic uh, you know tales let me let let, let me not derail humanity from the right path, uh, what Quran testifies in Surah Fatiha, Surah Al Mustaqim. He says, Let me not go away from that path, that Surah Al Mustaqim. Let me not create the fitna. Let me not create the confusion about the path of the right path to Allah. Then, let me sing the songs which infuse life into the dead. Let me sing those songs. Let me do the poetry. Let me write the poetry that will bring life into the dead. That 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 will that will bring spiritual life into the dead means the body that that, that takes minerals, that takes water, that takes all the edibles, but the spiritual life is dead. He says that spirit the spirit of the man is dead. He says that let me 
feared the spirit the spirit am in the uh, among the men he says let me sing of that inspires people with love let me propagate harmony let me propagate brotherhood let me propagate everything that would bring and that that, that would tie up the fabric of social life uh, let me bring people together what he says and causes all bitterness and hate to vanish and those tales those stories and th those things those statements those prayers and that poetry that will bring people together not mm, not separate them uh, to vanish uh, it says he has used the word vanish to vanish the bitterness and hatred that will completely um, uh, perish the 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 confusion that the, the indifferences between the people between the men between men so and causes all bitterness and hatred to vanish you brought me to bloom with the earliest vernal breeze you brought me to bloom you have given me the potential you have given me the strength to bloom with the earliest vernal breeze to 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 uh to make it him by this sabah subah subah ki hawa that breeze that that blows in the in in the in the in the dawn time and blooms the flowers and he says let me do all this let me get bloomed like breeze blooms uh, the the flowers in the morning let not the burning heat of summer there's a contrast there the contrast is the early the earliest vernal breeze means the jo hawaen subah ko chalti hai aur phool khilate hain let dusra jo hai uh burning heat of summer the the heat of summer is very hot it is it's very burning it's very uh dangerous in other words it is very troublesome it doesn't let the you know things uh, you know grow um as as it, to rejuvenate it 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 dies down it dies down the Uh, it dries up the things it dries up the uh, grass it dries up the life in other words let not the burning heat of the summer wither me gray let not the burning heat there here it's metaphoric burning heat of summer this is uh, the summer is you see the prime of uh, a year it's it's when everything is at bloom when everything is green and then he says but the heat of summer withers it's like uh, let not me go on track on the paths that would uh, leave me energyless that would leave me lifeless that would leave me listless then he says let not the burning heat of the summer wither me gray like dew how long shall i wait for the first flash of sun he says that i i don't like i i'm just like dew drop he is comparing himself this is called a simile when where like is used to symbolize two things he says like dew i and dew are alike why because i am waiting for your uh, for, for your revelation when you are revealing knowledge when you are revealing um, when you are revealing your divinity uh, on me and i am waiting for that splash of uh, revelation i am i am i am uh, waiting for your response uh, uh, similarly as do waits for sunlight so he says me and you are alike how long shall i wait then then he says he is very impassionate he is impassion he, he is very earnest to get that splash of uh, light that jisko kehte hain tajalli noor ki tajalli ka intezar kar raha hai shall i wait for the first flash of the sun awake me with the flowers in the first stroke of the dawn uh, those uh, that that vernal breeze that awakens the flowers that that brings the dormant flowers into life and similarly he says uh, let me let me be the sam let you let you blow 
द विंड ऑफ यू नो अवेकनिंग द विंड ऑफ अवेकनिंग द विंड ऑफ दैट द विंग विंड दैट अवेकन्स द सलम्बर ऑफ द यू नो स्लीपिंग माइंड्स एंड सोल इन इन अदर वर्ड्स अवेकन मी विद द फ्लावर्स इन द फर्स्ट स्ट्रोक ऑफ द डॉन इन फॉर्म आई एम अ मैन ही सेज जस्ट दिस बॉडी लुक्स आई एम लाइक अ मैन I am a man. My physical appearance, my physical visage, or my complexion looks like a man, but I am not in a real sense a man, because the manness in me is not there. Physically, I seem I am a man, but what actually humanity, mankind demands, that's nothing like in me. In form, I am a man. In substance, far from humanity, I look like a man. मैं दिखने में इंसान दिखता हूँ लेकिन इंसानियत मुझ में नहीं है इंसानियत का सबस्टेंस इंसानियत की खसलत मुझ में नहीं है ही सेज दैट अवे फ्राम फॉर अवे फ्राम ह्यूमैनिटी आई एम सब्जेक्ट मी नॉट टू ट्रायल्स देन ही रिक्वेस्ट देन ही प्रेज टू अल्लाह सब्जेक्ट नॉट मी टू ट्रायल्स नो ही सेज मेरे अंदर इतनी कैपेसिटी इतनी एबिलिटी नहीं है कि मैं आजमाइशों में पढ़कर पुख्ता निकल जाऊं तो ये सेज सब्जेक्ट मी नॉट टू ट्रायल शेम नॉट माय ह्यूमन फॉर्म बिकॉज लाइ कल फिल्ला वसाह यानी अल्लाह ताला उस पर इतना ही बोझ डालता है जितना वो सह सकता है बट ही सेज पर आई कान डू दैट पर आई कैन नॉट पर आई कैन नॉट बी एट दिस बर्न आई कैन आई कैन नॉट कैरी आउट टू दिस बर्न ही सेज शेम नॉट माई ह्यूमन फॉर्म I cannot, I cannot just uh, shame not my human form. I cannot uh, carry out these trials and tasks that you that you in, in, that you uh, trial on people, forsaken by men. I am. I am not. You know, I am not enjoyed by people. People have you know forsaken by men. I am forgotten by men. I am forsaken by men, and so they call me Mahjoor. So that's why they call me Mahjoor. That's why they have given me the name Mahjoor because I am forsaken by them. But one thing, I am worried about. Let the people forsake me. Let the people forget me. But one thing, of which I am afraid of, that is, people may desert me. People have, people. can people me people do even sometimes they can desert me they may you know sometimes deceive me or forsake me or forget me all together thus but you don't abandon me lord means if he is worried about somebody is he if he is worried about something that he is worried about his separation from god he says the only hope that i have that is that's i i wish to have a strong connection between allah and me so he says let the world think whatever they, it thinks about me but i am worried about if god if god forgets me if god forsakes me then it's a big disaster then it's a big calamity so in this point a uh, poet is trying to give a kind of message that he is not an everlasting uh, you know entity but there is the cosmic force that operates everything in in the in the universe and he says i'm linked to that force that cosmic force and let me be connected let me remain connected to this cosmic force the only way to live a peaceful life is to get yourself surrendered submitted to the force the allah subhanahu wa taala so thank you for today inshallah tomorrow we'll be talking about the textual textual questions and rest of the issues that poet wishes to convey